This week's whistle is the Meiju Sea Whistle. It's made in China. Now the listing on, I believe, eBay, where I purchased this whistle, said that it was made from ABS. In fact, the head is ABS. The barrel is actually kind of a, a heavy, fairly thick aluminum or, or some other kind of alloy. Also, I apologize, you can hear my dog howling in the background. We recently got a dog and didn't have a dog in the house before. Did not entirely anticipate how she was going to react. But uh, yeah, little little howly bits in the background there. We'll see if that continues or if she gets used to hearing me play the whistle. In the meantime, she and her two brand new puppies are currently staying in my office. So a period of adjustment may ensue. It's not tunable at all. The head is easy to remove, but there's a lip right about here that prevents any further head movement. So you can't tune it, like you can a bit at least with other mass-produced whistles that are made in Ireland and England. It was very breathy and hissy and had some shrill characteristics in the upper octave. The good old blue tack tweak took care of a lot of it. But as you could hear just now, it is still a very breathy and sort of flute-like sounding whistle. Not necessarily to my preference. However, I will say it is very inexpensive. I think this cost about $9 US before tax and, and so forth. It took a couple weeks to get here. I know that there are some American importers and distribution companies that are holding on to these. I, I also know they're available through Amazon and, and some other sellers besides just eBay. So there's a quick look at the label, Made You. And there's a little phone number on there. I've not bothered to even think about calling and getting more information from the company. The pros, it's cheap. And it is a playable whistle. It came reasonably in tune. So the fact that I can't tune it at all is not such a big deal because it's pretty close to being dead on in C. The only note I have on the tuning, though, is that this last note here, the C sharp, sounds a bit off. but not anything that is crazy within the realm of tin whistledom. It's not unattractive in terms of overall look. They also make it in a silver and a sort of a golden color. When it comes to the true cons of this whistle, it is that the tone is not necessarily to my liking. The headpiece is not movable outside of simply taking it off. And also, the way the body has a sort of texture to it. You'd like to think that that's going to make it easier to grip the whistle, but it in fact makes it slipperier. And so, holding the whistle is not exactly the, the best. I think there are other regular glossy finish whistles that are easier to hold on to. Is it a good whistle for a beginner? I, I have to say kind of, simply because it's not expensive. It's fairly easy to play uh, once you adjust to hanging on to this textured barrel. And aside from having a difficult time hitting the B in the second octave. None of the notes seem to squeak really badly. It doesn't seem to respond poorly. So I guess the verdict on this whistle is okay, not great, but it's not the worst place in the world to pick one up and start learning how to play tunes. I haven't tried the D whistle or any of the other 
body colors or anything that Meiju offers. But it's worth a few bucks. I don't hate it, but I doubt I'd buy another one, especially when I can get something like a Walton's Melody or a an Acorn for the same price. That has been the Meiju Sea Whistle from China, and I look forward to seeing you next week when we play something entirely different.